Evening everybody, Silvervolt here, back for another Transformers review, going to be doing, as per the title page, Scattershot! Keeping it in with the uh, Computron review, the Technobot review, reviews, and I've had a few requests for, to to be, for Scattershots with the next um, Transformer that I reviewed, so I thought, yes, why not, I will review him. Okay, now, Scattershot, well, Scattershot's, um, <laughs> well, He's a bit of a brawler, um, you know. He, he, he tactics for him, uh, you know. They're, they're, they're a word that pacifists use. You know, I mean, there's no such thing as tactics where scatter, scotch, scatter shot is concerned. It's get in there, beat the living snot out of everybody, and get out. Or more likely, get in there, beat the living snot out of somebody, and then find someone else to beat up. So he's quite funny. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, he's got the subtlety of Grimlock in a bad mood, and I mean Grimlock, you know, series uh, series one Grimlock, not series three wearing an apron Grimlock. So you know, he's quite violent. Um, definitely likes using violence to solve his problems, and very very quick to do so. It has to be said. Um, in, of course, the Marvel, com uh, not the Marvel comic, in the cartoon continuity, as I've alluded to in my other videos, um, Scattershot uh, is created along with the other Technobots um, by Grimlock. Um, though Scattershot's general brawling ideology doesn't really come out in that episode, because he turns around to, and shows quite remarkable, well, not really remarkable, understandable low confidence. He says, no way, Grimlock, you built us, you're a genius, we can't do it without you. Um, so, you know, he, he doesn't really come into his fore at that point in the cartoons. But again, you know, he's an Autobot. You know, he, he's not supposed to have the first line of uh, go out and blow the crap out of stuff as standard practice. Um, in the Marvel continuity, um, Scattershot, of course, goes with the other Technobots to Steel Haven, as I've said. However, in the UK comics, Scattershot actually has um, an independent storyline away from the other Technobots, and that is involving when um, when Rodimus Prime finds out that Unicron is rebuilding himself for the planet of Junk, and he heads with the Dinobots, Scattershot, and Smokescreen. And while the Dinobots and um, Rodimus are running around the planet Junk, uh, Scattershot and Smokescreen stay aboard the shuttle and they're taking pot shots at, um, at Unicron's giant head and of course managing trying to avoid the big laser eye beams of death. You'll have to excuse me, my hair's not quite long enough to pull back in a ponytail yet. Um, now, Scattershot, of course, is one of the ones that's actually quite vocal in. Um, in when the Autobots have the run-ins with the Wreckers under Springer. Um, and Scattershot being Scattershot, he's more than willing to go and take a pounce on the Wreckers. Um, in the IDW continuity, which of course is the most recent one, as I've mentioned in the other ones, uh, Scattershot, funnily enough, actually um, recommends caution before the other Technobots, of course, get demolished by... Um, by the, the Unholy Trinity. Ooh, that's what that, that terminology is. Um, Scattershot himself is actually is actually uh, impaled by Bomb Blast, thus taking him of the action. Um, though, and of course they are refitted by the end of it, um, and then they run off with Jetfire uh, to fight Monstructor, I believe. Okay. That's it for Scattershot, um, for his character mode. Okay, now onto his toy mode, and, right, well, his first mode, because he's a bit of a triple changer, is our Scattershot, is that of a futuristic fighter jet, um, which I don't know what it is, but it it, it, it kind of reminds me, almost like a... Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, the old film, Flight... Not Flight, The Last Starfighter, comes to mind. Something to do with though, the imagery from that film. I don't know why, uh, because for the life of me, I can't actually recollect what the, the ships look like in the film, The Last Starfighter. Great bit of 80s flick there, by the way. It's a, it's a really it's a funky film. Okay, but this is his first mode anyway. That of a Cybertronian jet. Um, now, me as a child, whilst we've got him in this mode, I had a little bit of another mode for him. Um, and basically what I did was, I lifted the wings up, so they're like that. And, of course, you know, I'm a little bit too big to do this now, because my hands are too big. When I was younger, because well, he was the only Technobot I actually had, um, 
he became a gun. Quite a beefy gun when you're like, you know, a four and a half foot tall 12 year old. Well, 10 year old. No, I'd have been even young. I'd have been about 10. Because I had scatter shot before I moved to Ireland. So I'd have been about 10 or 11 when I had him. Um, so, you know, not exactly a giant. Um, so he made quite a handy little cannon, um, hand cannon. And of course, he was, of course, because he transforms, he was my target master as a child. So there we go. Um, his other mode, which is um, rather unfortunate, it has to be said, is his cannon mode, where you just simply move his legs down like that, push the button, and he has a cannon mode. Um, which, unfortunately, because of the situation of where his head is, namely there, of course I can't do it because I'm looking at it in reverse. There we go. It's right there where my... Kind of. No. There we go. Where my finger is now, it's where his head is. So he's kind of got, like, got a giant ass cannon. There we go. Um, and that's not the only kind of like innuendo you can make where uh, scatter shots butt cannon is, con is concerned. Because if you transform into robot mode, you can actually do this in very two very very bad ways. Um, so, I'll, I'll, it, but it, it, it is very amusing. I've just got to remember how to do it now. Right, because if you transform him this way, and I gotta admit, this is very, very infantile. Um, this, of course, is the incorrect way of transforming scatter shot. And but there we go. I think everybody knows about this. I mean, what the hell the Hasbro designers were doing when they could, when they can see that it could possibly be transformed in this direction is you don't want to know. But that's not the way it's supposed to be. Um, Scatter shot's quite fiddly in some regards. The way you've got to, you've got the way you've got to twist him round. Uh, Scatter shot is supposed to transform like that, so that the cannon thing is off his back. Um, though it does leave a very, though it does leave the rub sign in a very, very, very unfortunate place. Uh, scatter shot is very large um, compared to some of the others. Compared to the others that are in his combiner group, and if I just grab, I'll just grab nose cone. You know, I really will get cut in my hair at times. There we go. If I just grab nose cone, and there you've got nose cone, who will get a review, of course. And you put him next to scatter shot. I mean, scatter shot is bloody huge next to them. I mean. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think now. Do Abominus? I mean, I know that I know that Silvolt's quite tall, but you know, Silvolt's got the fact that he's lanky, but Scatter Shot's just so bulky. So you know, he is really, really large next to the other ones. Um, though he, he is a nice toy, and he, he's he, he, you know he you know he doesn't really do a lot. In, you know, he doesn't really do an awful lot in robot mode. But he does have one thing that many of the other trans combiner leaders didn't have, in that he's got articulated knees. Um, it's it's for his transformation into Computron, of course, but he has articulated knees, kinda, and his arms move up and down, um, and they move like that at the elbow. I'll show you properly that way. But that's about it. Um, but yes, very nice toy goes. Fits the doesn't I don't know whether he fits the rest of the theme of the other of the other techno bots in the toy range, but you know he's still quite a nice toy. Um, funky vehicle modes, apart from the very unfortunate cannon mode. So I was very tempted to say something else then, and I didn't. So be nice. Put enough innuendo into this video. Um, but yes. That's my review on Scattershot. Um, Computron on eBay is one of the cheaper ones. You, probably, you might be able to, you'll pick it up for between 40 and 70 pounds. Now, admittedly, that's not cheap, but when you could see what some of the other ones can go for, uh, if you take the likes of what Predakin can go for, what uh, Piranacon can go for, who I still haven't managed to go pick up on, um, what Monstructor can go for. So. Um, but yes, that's myself done for now. Scatter shot you can probably find easy on eBay, but be warned, he will be the most expensive of the lot. Especially if he comes with the parts that he does, which would be Computron's gun, chest plate, and head, pig, head part. But for now, this is Silvolt with Scatter shot signing off, saying au revoir, adios, avidizim.